Hey everybody, my name is Brandon, Nikki the Brando Critic, and welcome to my Room Tour 2020. And for those of you guys who do not know, yes, I am actually six foot eight. I barely fit through the door, but we do manage. So if you guys have seen my room tours already from 2018 and 2019, not much has changed, so I'm not gonna go into everything in detail, but there are some major changes in here. But we're gonna start off in this very strange alcove in my house. My house, I don't know what the designers were thinking, but there's always this, these like really weird design I wouldn't call them flaws, I'd call them little quirks, but right here we have the Back to the Future poster, one of my favorite posters of all time. I used to have the X-Men Days of Future Past poster in here, but after moving some posters around, and you will see some of the changes, I decided to put that one there. And below that we have one of my Logitech speakers for the surround sound system, which is a Z906 system, and I will talk about the actual system in a second when we get to the hub. But right here we just have a couple of drawers where I keep most of my video game controllers, like from the Nintendo Switch to the Wii to the PlayStation to the Xbox, and then a bunch of extra cords you can use around this room, like coaxial cables and RCA cables and a bunch of old retro gaming miscellaneous shit. And then comes the new Kylo Ren mask. Now, I I like this. This is actually just a sticker that we put on the wall, and it looks like it's kind of uh, breaking the wall around it. But if you look here, there actually is a bit of a, and of course, that's when it doesn't work. There it goes. So you can actually see his uh, eyes do light up red, which is pretty cool. And before we get into the closet, and yes, I'm going to be going uh, clockwise as opposed to counterclockwise this time, we do see another Star Wars frame. I believe I got that at Home Sense, and you can see in the letters you got some Stormtroopers, Darth Vader, uh, Princess Leia, Han Solo, and Luke Skywalker. You can definitely tell that Star Wars is my favorite film franchise. But if we go into the closet, there's not much to see in here, it's just a bunch of storage, but I do have some Star Wars figures on display which are right here. So if you guys can see, I have all my Star Wars figures, little Lego sets and different boxes of different figurines. And I even have some of the old VHS tapes back here, just on display. You know, I can't have Star Wars everywhere in my room. I don't have enough space and I do want to keep it oh, as minimalistic as, as I can. You know, if you look around the room, minimalistic is definitely not the word to use, but I have my Star Wars stuff right here. And then the rest of the closet, you know, you have the family's board games and you have uh, VHS tapes that, you know, obviously don't get used too much anymore, but then you have different video game magazines, uh, all my Pokemon VHS tapes from back in the day, uh, video game magazines, my soundtracks, my old PC games from when I was a kid, some of the old Nintendo handhelds like the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and a couple of extra vinyl records, and then some extra posters which I hope to use in my studio when I do move out. and. It's gonna be a shame to finally say goodbye to this room. I've been in this room or this house since 1998. It's been a long time. So hopefully we can bring some of this stuff into the new studio, into the new apartment, and that'll be another video for sure. And then we just have a random office chair right here. It's easy to move around. If we have some extra people in the house, then we can just have someone sitting here to watch a movie, play a video game, things like that. So if we get into my, what I like to call my music corner. So we have right here, we have one of my uh, Stratocaster guitars and a NBC hat, which I picked up at a flea market for a dollar. And I think it looks pretty cool right there. Underneath it, you got the aroma diffuser because you always need the room to be smelling good. And then below that, most of the stuff, most of the furniture in this room is secondhand. So I got it at garage sales, flea markets, Facebook marketplace. Most of the stuff was not bought at full price at department stores. So I think that buying things like that gives the room a bit more personality. So right here you have a shelf where I keep all the Xbox games. And funny enough, I bought the entire Xbox collection or this entire Xbox collection for $100. Some guys was getting rid of all of his games and the console for hundred bucks. And I have all the games right here. And then I have some of my music, PlayStation 2 games, like all the Guitar Heroes and Rock Bands, and then some sports ones off to the side right there. And the record, which I was just listening to, which was the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack, which brings me to the vinyl record player. I used to be very, very big into collecting for vinyl records, but I do have a pretty good collection through here and you can find all my vinyl records in this little shelf right here. And then we got another Logitech speaker for the surround sound system right here. And behind this, we have two little prints, which I actually got on Hollywood Boulevard. We got Friends right here. And we got Saving Private Ryan right there. And then we actually have a film strip, an original 35 millimeter uh, celluloid cine clip from Die Another Day. Definitely not the best James Bond movie, but it was the first one I ever saw. So it has a special place in my heart for that. I don't like watching the movie though, unfortunately. But then we have a giant Star Trek framed masterpiece of all the films up to 2013 with Into Darkness. 
I'm not the biggest fan of Star Trek, but my mom bought this for me for my birthday. And after that, I bought all of them on Blu-ray. I just finished watching all the original six movies and they are a lot of fun to watch. Although I need to watch them with one of my Trekkie friends because I feel like I need like a tour guide to go through the Star Trek universe. And behind that, we actually have this old calendar unused from Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. It is hidden a little bit, and you can see, the only character you can see is Jar Jar with his dumb face right there. But you gotta love Jar Jar just a little bit, just a little bit. He's annoying, but he's a part of our childhood, right? And then behind that, you have a poster for Avatar, the uh, highest grossing movie of all time until Endgame, and you do see that poster in this room somewhere. We will see it soon. Before we get too low, though, we have a Scarface poster autographed by Al Pacino. This is one of my prized possessions in my room, and we also have another signed poster over there, which we will get to soon. But below that, we have three of the original posters for Star Wars, the original trilogy, for the special editions released in 1997, I believe. So you get Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi, which some of it is being blocked by this TV, but we will get there in a second. Below that, we have my amp for my electric guitars. It's, this is a Line 6. I don't know the exact maker model, but we also have another Les Paul style guitar right here. Sometimes I like to plug that in. It is fun to play that once in a while. Then down here, we have the subwoofer for the Logitech surround sound system, and we have the Nintendo GameCube above that. I used to play the GameCube games on my Wii, but when I sold my Wii off and just kept the Wii U for the Wii games, I decided to get a GameCube and it sits right there. But before we get to the TV, we have Little Baby Yoda, yes, I still call him Baby Yoda, guys, even though his name is, spoiler alert, it's Grogu. We have some pics right here. We have the Lone Ranger. I was a fan of it back in the day, not so much anymore, but it was on clearance because not many people liked the movie, and I think he still looks cool. And we have one of the Disney towers. I have two Disney towers, one's here and then one's over there, and it's all of my old Disney VHS tapes. And even though they don't get used too much because of Disney+, Plus, you can see them all in HD, this is my childhood, right? People my age grew up with these giant uh, Disney VHS tapes and the giant uh, cases like that. And of course, behind there, we have a poster for Ant-Man, which my parents got at the premiere in New York City. Thanks for the invite, Mom. So now here comes the biggest change of the room so far from last room tour. This is the giant 75-inch Samsung 4K TV, 120 hertz LED. This thing, ah oh man, I love it. And because this year with the whole pandemic and with movie theaters, the future being up in shambles, I decided, you know what? Now's the perfect time to upgrade to 4K. And with my new partners at Movie Scene Canada, I've been getting a lot more 4Ks to review and to talk about. And I thought, now's the perfect time to actually get a 4K TV so I can actually watch some movies in the glorious new format. Some movies that I saw that really stand out to me are Gladiator, Saving Private Ryan, E.T. and the list goes on, but those are some of the movies that just look amazing in 4K. I can't recommend that format enough. Do I really gotta upgrade all of this to 4K now? My wallet has had enough of buying movies. I mean, uh, it, it, it can be a problem sometimes. So I was talking about the Logitech speaker system. This is where the main hub is, and we have the main speaker right here. We have the Shaw box. Shaw is a cable provider here in Canada, so that's where the box is for all of my TV shows. Then of course we have uh, the Wii U here for all the Wii U and Wii games. We have the PS3, the PS2. It's still the original one from 2001. I still have it, it still works, which is crazy. Then I have the 4K player. So that is where I watch all of my 4Ks. We have the original Xbox, which I said I bought for hundred bucks from some guy on the internet. Just the entire collection, hundred bucks. And it was something for me to do after bartending nights when I was back home at 4 a.m. Wasn't tired yet. Let's play some old Xbox, that's where I got that. And then of course we have the PS4. Then moving on, we have one of these spotlights, which I don't use too much, but it is kind of cool to shine a light on the posters on the ceiling, which I will get to. And behind that is a little poster from Captain America, the Winter Soldier. And of course the blinds do go up and you can actually see the whole poster, but I got that at the premiere. And we have one of the other Disney towers as well. And we have my little tiny Mickey Mouse collection, and each one of these is from a various trip to one of the Disney theme parks. So we got Disneyland California, Disney World in Orlando, and each different trip. And these are my three favorite franchises, and they are all Disney rides, believe it or not. So then we get to this shelf right here, and on top we have my Nintendo Switch, my most recent console to the collection. Um, I don't have too many games for it, but it is fun to play these games on the road as well, and they do look glorious on the TV as well. 
And here is my new 4K collection. I'm, I was very surprised to see how fast it grew. I mean, most of these were gifts from Movie Scene Canada. Some of these were sent to me from the studios to review and to watch. Below that, I have my PS4 games. Not too much. Most of them are actually bought and uh, stored on the console itself. Then we have the PS3 games, all right here. Below that, we got the Wii, with the Wii U, Nintendo Switch, and Nintendo GameCube. And below that was the console I played a ton when I was a kid, the PlayStation 2. Now, before we get to the other shelves, we have the other poster. This is the original Star Wars, autographed by James Earl Jones. I can't believe that, again, that James Earl Jones' hand signature is in my room. It's just, it's amazing to think about. And then behind that, this used to be Spider-Man 3, but I recently got rid of that poster and I put Daft Punk behind there. And below that, we have the Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides uh, poster with just the skull and uh, swords. And then we have the Grand Theft Auto 5 poster, which you got when you pre-ordered the game at EB Games, also known as GameStop in the States. So then comes this little tiny shelf with another Logitech speaker on the top, and this is where the Blu-ray collection starts. Now, the Blu-ray collection is all in alphabetical order, starting with numbers, and it goes all the way down here, and it continues all the way up here, and all the way over here. The Blu-ray collection has definitely grown in the last year. I did do another giant Blu-ray collection video, and as soon as I posted that, the collection grew even more. So I gotta do more collection videos in the new year, Oh man, those are gonna be really long videos, but hopefully you guys enjoy those as well. If you guys wanna see them, I'll make them. But before we go down too far, I will show you what's on the top. Nothing has really changed here. We have a little Star Wars figurine of some clone troopers from Attack of the Clones. My least favorite Star Wars movie, but I do think that the clone troopers do look pretty awesome. Then we have some empty game boxes of the PS4, PS3, original Xbox. And right here, I actually have a little tiny capsule of all my old movie tickets from the last couple of years. So um, before we all got our movie tickets on our phones, we actually got the paper ones and we used to put them uh, in here. And it's fun to go through sometimes and go like, oh, I remember when I saw that movie, I saw it with this person, with that person. And then I have uh, my only pair of Mickey ears uh, was from my grad class in high school, class of 2013, when, uh, when I was playing in a jazz band in high school, we actually got to play in the Disney park and on Disney Cruise Line. And we got all of these as well. Now behind this, there's actually the box for the original Wii, but there's also a Black Series Kylo Ren lightsaber as well, and I have that right there. So we have the main Blu-ray shelves, but then we also got some box sets or some like trilogies over here. So we got the Back to the Future Indiana Jones, a Tarantino box set, and a couple of other Tarantino movies, and James Bond 50th Anniversary box set as well. And most of my DVD collection was, you know, accumulated after bartending. You know, after I'd bartend, I'd go to the flea market the next morning with all my tip money, and you'd get like these DVDs for like 50 cents to a dollar, and you could just get like these massive hauls so i built up my collection rather quickly with doing that so i have them organized by genre so right here you have drama and sports movies and then of course you have some blu-ray uh box sets of like miami vice and krypton and two broke girls right here you have the action adventure movies and then a couple of 4k box sets like the dark knight hobbit lord of the rings and mission impossible yeah i don't have all the 4ks together unfortunately i still have to you know when I move out, when I have the studio, I'm probably gonna rearrange everything and it's gonna look a lot nicer. But I do have, you know, some like TV shows here, TV shows here, TV shows there. It is a bit of a hodgepodge, but I do have a method to the madness. Right here you have crime, mystery type of movies. Right here you have uh, sci-fi, horror, fantasy movies. And the complete season of Entourage right here. Now this one is all comedies and they go from here all the way over here and then a bunch of other random you know you have all the seasons of Mad Men you have a bunch of documentaries and some concert DVDs like Deep Purple and Peter Gabriel right here you have your family movies and your animation movies right next to Deadwood and the IMAX Ultimate Collection and the Mission Impossible Blu-ray collection as well and then right here you have the chick flicks or the romance movies and the musicals as well and you do have a giant binder this is my aunt's DVD collection she just gave that to me and there's a lot of Brad Pitt movies. She collected almost every Brad Pitt movie up until 2004. So Brad Pitt, you're living in here, buddy. And then our last DVD stack is right here. It's one of those uh, wire ones. And for the movies right here, I just decided if I love the movie and I have it on DVD, I'm putting them right here. And so these are the movies that I'm like, okay, these are the ones I need to upgrade to 4K or to Blu-ray next. All right here.
Behind that is the window, and I had that covered up with a Vancouver Canucks flag. These are the old colors. If you guys know anything about hockey, the Canucks are now blue and green. But if I love anything more than movies, it's the Vancouver Canucks and watching hockey. And above that is my Jedi Training Academy certificate, saying that I'm a Padawan learner, which I got in 2007 from Disneyland. Really official stuff, guys. And behind that, we have a poster for cinema, a ticket for cinema, and a little tiny wooden poster as well for cinema. And I showed this in my last video as well, but this was a wooden plaque that my mom made based on all of my favorite movies and some quotes from them all in one sentence. And this is probably my prize jewel of my movie room because I know that no one else has one of these, right? My mom made this for me and you know, I just find it extremely special and I, I love it, what can I say? And we have a little tiny Lego Star Wars thing right here hanging from the ceiling. It hasn't moved in ages. Now our next big change from the movie room from last year is the furniture. I used to have a really crappy, uh, just this like lounge chair and I had a really crappy love seat. Uh, but I went to this one place where they had discount furniture and I got these leather recliners. So each one of these recline, this one rocks and it really does feel like you're in a VIP movie theater when you have the 75 inch TV, you have the reclining chairs, they're really comfortable and I really wanted to bring the movie theater experience into my home and I did that with these new seating arrangements. Now onto the last part of the room, we have my mini fridge right here. We can keep all your Cokes and beers and wines and anything else you wanna keep cool. We have a Fire Mario figure from Toys R Us right here, which is still in business up here in Canada, if you believe it or not. Another Logitech speaker, so it completes the surround sound system. Then we have the Wii U docking station. I didn't play much of the Wii U, but it is a pretty fun system. A, a landline phone, if you guys remember those. Uh, we have some coasters, which are based on the Harry Potter houses. So Hufflepuff and Gryffindor, for example. A little tiny film slate from New York City, which I've never been to before, but my parents got it at the premiere of Ant-Man as well. And then we have some posters on display. My favorite one of all time, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Number one movie of all time. My favorite one to watch, that is. Baby Driver, great movie. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. While a lot of Harry Potter fans might not like this movie, this is the one that I watched the most as a kid. It might not be my favorite now, but this was the one that really got me into Harry Potter. I watched this one so many times as a kid. And while not my favorite film in the MCU, it might be my favorite poster from the MCU, that is Avengers Endgame. So I have those all on display right behind this amazing reclining couch. And of course you have a little side table for your drinks, for all of your TV remotes, your PS4 controllers. And that is the room, but if you look up, we have a ton of posters to go through. So I'll just go through these real quick. So we got Army of Darkness, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Pulp Fiction, Return of the Jedi, two little ones because we have a giant fan in the middle of the room to keep us cool. We have Avengers and Iron Man, just two little ones. Then we have The Terminator, The Dark Knight Rises, Rise of Skywalker, Last Jedi, Force Awakens. By the way, I tried to keep all the Star Wars ones together. So I have the original trilogy right here. I don't, have, I don't have the prequels ones in this room. I do have them framed, but they're just in storage right now. Hopefully I can keep those for the studio or for the apartment when I move out. And then I have all the sequel trilogy. Not my favorite one in the world, right? As time goes on, you're like, oh, missed opportunity. But I do have all three of the posters right here. If you can see this, we have Kingsman, the Secret Service. Such a fun movie. Jurassic Park. The more I think about it, you know, and what's good about these posters too is that they're all the same size. This is the ones that are framed. So if I feel like changing them, I can just swap them around. So we have Jurassic Park. We have Goldeneye. We have Spider-Man 2. We have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone, depending on where you're from. We have Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. And last but not least, we have The Matrix and Full Metal Jacket. And that is my media room, my game room, my movie room. It has many different names over the years, but this is where I like to come to relax, play some video games, watch some movies, hang out with some friends, listen to vinyl records, drink some beer, whatever the case may be, this is the media room. So I wanna thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about the room, 
feel free to leave those questions on the comment section down below. Like, where did you get this? Where did you get that? What's your favorite poster in this room? Whatever the case may be, leave those questions on the comment section down below. And I want to thank you guys so much for a really prosperous year. The channel has been exploding as of late and this year has seen so much growth. And I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys. But if you just happen upon this video and you'd like to see more videos just like this, then please hit like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And it's the best way to show your support for the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.